Hey there. Just want to talk about radiology where, you know, how you can help other rad techs and how you can get into the field. It's a very, very large field with a lot of options. I'm eating my lunch in my car. So drop your comments, like, share, uh, double tap this if you love radiology. And we're going to talk about, I mean, in turkey and rice. I did my meal prep yesterday. When you work in healthcare, and meal prep is truly important. But it helps me to make sure I have a healthy lunch and I'm not spending all my money on eating out. Hey, thanks for the hearts. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, Let me know what your specialty is in radiology. If you're a rad tech, if you're a student, let me know if you're a student in the comments. But I'm going to talk about how I got into radiology. And I actually got a couple calls this weekend from parents that I'm friends with. Their children are either in high school looking for a field to go in in healthcare. They really don't know what they want to do. Um, and they heard about radiology and the parents said, well, talk to Sean. She's been doing it for a while. Her husband does it. And they wanted to know more about it. We also talked about other allied health uh, fields like radiation therapy was the ART hard on my student. Congratulations on being a rad tech student, first of all. And no, I don't think it's hard. Um, you prepare for two years as a student, you prepare for two years for a ART exam so those of you that are listening maybe not sure what art is that is our national boards uh, that we take and then you have to take state levels depending on what state you're in but national boards and it's not hard because you spend two years mock registries your school should prepare you for those registries and you know just do exactly what you've been doing in school study 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 while you're in school it does take a lot of studying while you're in school the things you learn in school they do You'll be taking your exam and you're like, left, right, right, left. You know, you'll be sitting there seeing people do that. It's so funny. Um, but no, I don't think it's hard. As long as you apply yourself while you're in school, because school is there to prepare you for the ART. That is key. When I taught MRI school, I try to be as real with my students as possible that school is not to teach you so much of to be an RT or to be an MRI tech, it's there for that, but it's to teach you how to pass that registry, <laughs> how to get your license, the thing you paid for. And then when you get in the field, that's when you learn the beyond the book stuff. You know, thank you for the hearts. That's when you get, so if you're a student trying to figure out what well, I need to be, you're not a tech, learn what they, what you are paying the school to do for you. And that is to make sure you are educated to pass the registry. So I hate to say book knowledge. Some can get both. And yeah, you do want to get technical skills, but get the technical skills that are going to help you pass that registry test. <laughs> uh, which prerequisites should I take before radiology course? Should I just take all of them? I would say take all of them because you never know down the line. This is the tip I would say. I had already, I, I didn't go to radiology school straight out of high school. I was grown, lived on my own, had another job that I did and came back to radiology, which, you know, my uncle and my mom told me to do in the first place, but I wouldn't do other stuff. That's life, right? We make decisions and then we come back to things when the time is right. And the time is right at this time. So I already had a lot of college courses already, um, but I did an associate's course, which I think I'll have two courses now to finish a bachelor's. But for me, honestly, not having a bachelor's has not hurt my income at all or my job prospect at all. So um, I just say if you get a bachelor's, do it because you have a goal to do it. Um, But saying all that, I would say if you're not in a radiology program now, get as many prereqs as you can. What does it hurt? You're going to either be in school taking the bare minimum or you're going to take as much as you can get, because you may decide mm, after you finish x-ray school, I want to go into nuke med. So those extra courses you took maybe included a chemistry, which you don't need for radiology, but you do need for nuclear medicine. Radiation therapy has different, you know, there are different things. You may say, hey, at the radiology, I want to be a RRA. So you may need some other courses to work towards that master's degree. So all of these prereqs that you take may not help what you're trying to do presently, but always think of the future. 
That is my biggest advice. You never know down the road. I never thought I'd be on social media. I never thought people would be paying me, brands would be paying me to talk about radiology. So I say all that to say, uh, <laughs> you know, don't limit yourself because the possibilities are endless in our field. We are the third largest medical profession. So when you're in the school mode, keep going. Because I'm not in the school mode, so I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not taking any more registries. I got enough. I'm not going back to school, and I can confidently say that. Uh, so while you're in the mode of going to school, go ahead and get them all anyway. While you got that grant money, while you got that money coming that you could pay for this, do it. Because it is hard to do it while you're working full time. Um, you're currently in high school, becoming a senior. Congratulations. Enjoy your senior year. You want to be an MRI tech. Where should you start? So... I knew by the ninth or eighth grade, they kind of prepared us what kind of, I wanted to go into science and medical. So I knew I wanted to go that direction. So I took courses all through high school that allowed me to have, by my senior year, to have that ready. Uh, in, in the area I live in, they have something called joint enrollment. They didn't have it when I was in school, but my nieces took advantage of it. So they graduated high school with an associate's degree, close to a bachelor's. They're, they were able to get all of their college credits because we made sure they finished their high school stuff and then they were able to take college stuff while in high school. So the college stuff was free. So if you have that, try to take advantage of that. I'm telling you, it is amazing. Um, but if you want to be an MRI tech start, my suggestion is, this is just me. You can go to a school that just teaches you and gets you licensed to be an MRI tech, but your job pro possibility is going to be limitless. And I say this, say that for this reason. Say for whatever reason you're an MRI tech, that's all you can do. You can't do radiate anything that involves radiation. So you can't do CT. You can't do X-ray. Uh, some states may not even let you do MRI because they it falls under the umbrella of radiology. So some states require that you have a radiation license, like California. So, you know, it kind of limits you. And then say, for instance, you got to get a pacemaker or a defibrillator, some piece of metal in your body that's not MRI compatible. You can't go in the room. So now you don't have a job. So I say, add one more year onto it and go to radiology school first. That's my, my tip. You took a prereq, so it didn't get amazing grades. That's okay. Talk to you before, uh, I talked to you before I took the classes too. Ha ha ha. You know, I, I mean, your interview, they interview you too. At least when I went to school, they, they do a personal interview. That accounts for a lot as well. If you pass the course, that's what matters. Pass the course. I mean, you want to strive for better grades too, but, but you know, really focus because it does get harder when you get into radiology school. I say that. I'm going into the 10th grade. This is my dream. Yeah, come join the radiology. 10th grade is perfect because you're going to the 10th grade. That will set you in a place now where you could take a lot of stuff on high school. So check with your counselor and see if they have the program where you can actually go to college while you're in high school. And it's free. States have it, you guys. Take that free money. Stop giving away money. Uh, hello, I'm on the waiting list for LPN and Rad Tech. Ooh, that's smart. Smart, smart, smart. Always be on as many as you can. You never know. You just never know. No, they don't merge. Um, two different. One is a nurse and one is Rad Tech. Two, two totally different things. Um, but there are people that went into nursing and went into radiology later on. People who went into radiology and later on became nurses. Congratulations. You got accepted into a radiology program, working full time. You're nervous. It's good to be nervous. I'm always nervous. I'm still nervous when I go to new machines, new places. It's it, it's part of life. It's part of life. You'll be fine. Um, yes, it's very heavy in physics. Uh, radiation, bi well, MRI is heavy in physics. Radiation biology is very heavy. I um, mean, you do have some math in there. Um, but, you know, again, a lot of stuff is repetition and just apply yourself. Good, you pa you passed everything. Oh, and you're working full time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But keep that's right. You're gonna continue. That's right. It's not impossible. I knew people that worked full time, had kids, were married, and still went to X ray school. Could I have done it? Probably not. I'm sorry, somebody called me. If that's what I had to do, I bet I could do it. Mm hmm. You do what you got to do. And it's worth it if you can pass it. 
Passion ART after that, you got this. I think you've conquered the hardest part. You're in the program. A lot of people can't get into the programs. It's so packed. So thank you guys for the likes and the shares. I got an appointment coming up in a few minutes, but I wanted to hop on here and just talk about radiology and thank you guys for supporting my page. I really enjoy what I do. I like the flexibility and I think more people should know about radiology because it's an option. Everybody does not want to be a nurse, a doctor, and, you know, don't minimize what radiology does because no other healthcare field could exist without radiology. Surgery couldn't exist. Uh, cancer treatment couldn't exist. People couldn't get bone placements. People, people wouldn't even know why they have headaches without diagnostic radiology. I mean, there is so pivotal in healthcare. And we need to talk more about what we do, let people know, you know, definitely update me, definitely update me. You got this. I, I Just let me know when you're ready to graduate. I mean, you know, let's, let's celebrate when you're ready to graduate. <laughs> so that's going to be good. I'm excited for you. Keep doing it. You got this. And uh, you know what? It was hard, even though I didn't work full time. It's just, it's just hard. Now, anything worth having is hard. And if you did, the hardest part was getting into the program. So Salute to you, girl. But yeah, I'm going to finish this because I got a 1.30 appointment with a client and uh, I'm going to get my butt back to work in a little bit, but I'm going to enjoy it. It is raining. Can y'all see the raindrops up here? It is raining. So just a nice little sprinkle, but I want to take me a nice nap in my car. So anyway, no, that's okay. I appreciate you being on here. Y'all have a good one. Thank you again for joining my live.